channel uh, this video is about uh, a blueprint of core certified power user or so in this video i am going to explain you uh, about the topics and how many questions are going to come in the exam and what is the time duration for the exam so before that the prerequisite of uh, uh, this exam is first when you, you need to clear a power user a uh, uh, user certification so once you completed the user cert certification uh, so you are eligible to uh, take a power user exam uh, so this power user exam also entry point for the admin uh, splunk admin uh, certified user uh, and also uh, for uh, splunk core certified power user the uh, exam code is splk hyphen so let's begin with the uh, with the blueprint or, or test blueprint uh, of power user so what exactly uh, uh, the exam uh, does so so in in this exam uh, once you have completed uh, uh, all the hands-on all the training so so the, this is the final steps toward uh, uh, towards the certification of uh, of power user so this this is the next uh, level of certification so uh, if you have done a user level certification so this is the next level of it and it has a total uh, time duration is uh, 57 minutes and total questions are uh, 65 and also the candidate will be assisting on the on the uh, few skills of splunk like uh, field alias and calculated field creating tags and events event type using macros creating uh, workflow action and the data modeling also normalizing the data with sim so these all the topics uh, uh, on which the candidate is, candidate is going to evaluate uh, also candidate can expect additional three minutes of reviewing uh, the exam agreement so so for total sitting is uh, 60 minutes it is recommended that the, uh, the candidate for this certification complete the lecture hands-on uh, and a quiz that are part of the Splunk fundamental two course in order to prepare for the exam so uh this is not mandate uh, to have a hands on lab if you have confident and then you have done all the all the uh, topics uh, which is i am going to uh, show you so you can directly uh, opt for the exam and you can sit for the exam and, uh, and clear it so but you need to have uh, hands-on experience for all the topics which is, which I am going to tell you about so also the fundam uh, fundamental two or Splunk power user is required to prepare to the enterprise certified admin certification track so this is very important now the next thing uh, will be what all uh, what uh, this exam focus on so this course focus on uh, searching and reporting uh, as well as the creation of knowledge objects major topic include using transforming command and uh, and also visualization filtering uh, formatting uh, the results correlating the events creating knowledge object object using fields alias and calculating fields creating tags tags is very important uh, in splunk also event type uh, using macro creating workflow action and uh, data models and also normalize the data with the uh, sim common information model so uh, these all the let let's have a look uh, uh, what all topics will be there uh, for this uh, for 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 which you have to prepare these are the following topics which uh, 
uh, which covers uh, uh, whole exam uh, questions. So for the transforming command and visualization, uh, filtering, formatting results, correlating events, correlating events. It it uh, they, they uh, means uh, we are going to do it uh, like uh, identify, find the transaction and. Uh, creating the transaction knowledge objects fields field alias field extraction calculating fields tags and events uh, as i mentioned these are very important uh, macros then next one uh, will be workflow action data model and uh, common information model so these are the major topic uh, so under that uh, uh, one should uh, be prepared for uh, an uh, not only prepare but hands-on experience should be there to cre clear the exam because in exam uh, they, they, they ask all the pr practical things so let's move to the next thing uh, we will go to granular level of uh, details so this is the guide uh, is from Splunk so I will share the link with you and uh, Let's continue. Uh, so, the first topic will be using transforming command and visualization. So, this will cover five percent of total questions. So, in in that, uh, it, they will ask you about. They will evaluate about using the chart command, using the time chart command, chart and time chart. Okay. So, this is transforming command for visualization. So next uh, topic filtering and formatting this will cover 10% of uh, exam so it also it uh, it will cover the eval command using the search and where command uh, to filter the result and the uh, filling up the null values null command means values so this uh, filling up null values is very crucial when you are dealing with the uh, data science project or, or data analysis so uh, or, or any in 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 such scenario where you do not want null value instead instead you want some specific values so you can fill the null values also correlating events it covers a 10 percent of a uh, 15 percent of uh, uh, questions so 15 percent of question comes from the correlating events so uh like uh, how we are going to correlate the events identifying the transition group event using field you can group by group event using field and time so this is very uh, time is very crucial for uh, any of the correlation search or any of the event search with the transaction report on transaction determine when to use transaction versus stacks so so also this is very helpful when you are dealing with uh, uh, dealing with bunch of events and you want you want to find a relationship between the events so this is all about correlating events uh, the next topic will be creating and mapping the fields so it covers 10 percent of uh, total questions so performing regex field extraction using the field extractor uh, and perform delimiter field extraction using FX. So this is about about field extraction. You can do it field extraction to by default uh, functionality of uh, Splunk. Also, you can uh, write your own regex. So we can cover the, uh, that on advanced uh, uh, topic of uh, Splunk so but but uh, you need to uh, in this this specific uh, uh, topic just you are going to evaluate on the basis of extraction types how how many types of extraction can be there and and, and uh, the question related means uh, uh, like delimiter uh, what delimiter you can use comma space or anything else you can use it so it covers 10 percent of uh, total exam questions now next the fifth fifth one will be creating field and alias and calculating fields so field alias is uh, very important when you are going to deal with uh, normalizing the events normalizing the event generally use when you use the sim uh, mapping 
so in that case alias is very important calculating uh, calculated fields we use eval or or a few other command to calculate the fields so in that uh, you need to describe create and use the field alias field alias nothing but you giving a, a, a name uh, a new name to the field this also it uh, you need to describe and create and using the calculating fields calculated fields so calculated fields generally we use it through eval or or i will i will explain you how can we uh, deal further with uh, these uh, uh, these type of uh, topic or, or these type of uh, puzzles so it covers 10% of it so the next topic is creating tags and event type it uh, tags and event types so tags and event type also very important uh, it covers 10% of uh, uh, total exam questions creating and using tags describing event type and their uh, uses creating an event type so th these are the uh, topics uh, on which the candidate is going to evaluate for creating tags and events so the next topic can be creating and using macros so macros uh, uh, again the, the we will cover these topics when we we go to this uh, uh, this track so describing macros creating and using basic macros defining argument and uh, uh, variable for a macros add and use argument with the macros so so 10% of these topics will be coming in the exam creating using workflow this is very crucial and important for uh, uh, who is using who is he who want to create an action on on their event so this is uh, very useful also if uh, if anybody want to perform automatic action on on or or uh, user generated action so they, they can create an action workflow so in this we are going uh, uh, we are going to learn describe the uh, function of get post and search workflow action create get workflow action create a post workflow action create create a search workflow action so this will cover 10% of questions in the uh, topic i didn't get that could you try again Siri, stop. Done. Sorry about that. Siri is uh, interrupting <laughs> me. So uh, again, the the next uh, topic uh, will be creating data model. So the data model and and uh, uh, sim is very important when we you are dealing with uh, uh, security use cases. So data model is very crucial uh, for security and also uh, SIM mapping is very important. So SIM mapping generally we do to normalize uh, the data. So when you talk about creating data model, um, so it covers 10% of uh, total uh, topics, uh, total questions. Uh, also it, uh, it divided into uh, describing the relationship between the data uh, models and pivot uh, identifying uh, data model attributes creating a data model so it covers 10 percent of exam questions again sim mapping uh, using uh, common information model sim and add-ons so also it covers uh, describing the sim uh, describing splunk sim list of knowledge objects including in the Splunk sim add-on use the sim add-on to normalize the data so as I mentioned uh, uh, it ha it uh, use the, the sim mapping is used to normalize the data so it also cover the 10% so majority of the uh, 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 question will come from data model and uh, sim mapping 10% 10% you can see it over here also data flow uh, creating and using workflow macros event type tag creating field and alias so 10 10% you can consider so there are 10 topics are there so you can consider equal weightage of all these topics 
so so also i am going to cover each and every uh, topic in each and every topic in my future video so don't worry about it uh, we will learn together and clear the um, fundamental to uh, exam uh, also how how can you do the practical uh, with me so what you can do is you can install splunk on your own uh, pc laptop desktop or any or, or you can use a cloud instance of any aws or 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 aws or google uh, cloud uh, also if anybody want to brush up their basic uh, knowledge so i have created a video uh, for fundamental one splunk user certified certification so one can go there and have a look and brush up your knowledge so i think i have covered everything uh, if you have any question with respect to uh, taking exam on or 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 how how they can take uh, how they want to register how they can register to exam so i can help you with that uh, so I, I i'm going to create one more video where you can create your own id and book an exam uh, uh, in the pearson so for now thanks a lot for watching the video and uh, best of luck